I'm going to tie a Teleco Nymph, and uh, it's got a couple of variations from, from the original. Uh, but I'm starting off with a, a size 12 streamer hook, and uh, I go to a streamer hook as opposed to a, a bigger size uh, Nymph hook. I like a longer body on uh, this particular pattern. I'll add some uh, additional weight to it, and I'll start at the point in the hook, and then I'll wrap forward. And I want to be sure to leave enough space um, behind the eye to tie in the rest of the materials. So one of the things that I change is the body material. Instead of using um, a floss, I'm going to use an Antron yarn. And that's just for uh, durability purposes. And so given that, I don't need to use a lighter color thread to start. I can start and end with the same thread, which is going to be a 70 dark brown. I'll start this in front of the lead. I'll take a couple of wraps. The one thing that's important, I'm going to leave a nice long uh, tag of thread and I'm going to use that later to help tie in my peacock curl. So you want about a maybe a three or four inch tag of thread hanging off the, hanging off the back. So don't clip that uh, at the moment. And I'm going to just tuck that uh, behind my vise so it's out of the way while I tie in some of the other uh, pieces of material. The tail that I'm going to tie is uh, from a pheasant and it's uh, got some yellowish, uh, some barred, it's got a lot of good character and it complements I think the peacock curl and the body color really well. Um, I'm going to also use this for the legs, a little bit more rigid than like a soft tackle hen or something like that, uh, but I like the, the look of it and I don't think it, it matters too much that it's a, a little bit more rigid. So I've pinched those together, I'm going to take a little less than a hook shank in length, and I'll tie that in down to the barb in the hook and I want to make sure that I've got good coverage all the way around the hook shank. Take my wraps back up and then remove uh, the ends. For the uh, back to this, uh, a lot of different materials that you can use. I'm going to use a uh, turkey and I also like to tie this with uh, thin skin as well if you really want to up the the durability of it. The thin skin uh, is a nice durable substance to use. So I'll cut off a slip that is maybe a quarter inch or so in width and I like to tie it with the more pliable side down so the part that is furthest away from the uh, from the stem, the closer you get to the stem, the more rigid it will be. So I want to make sure that's centered on top of the hook shank. Now for the rib, I'm going to use a peacock curl. I'm going to take two strands and two strands because I want it to be a little bit more durable again. And because when you twist these together, I think it brings out some of the colors, makes it more vibrant. So be sure when you trim this that you trim far enough up the stem that you get rid of those uh, ugly bits. And tie it in and down. And then I'll come back up. The other swap of material, instead of, as mentioned, instead of using the floss, I'm going to use an Antron yarn. It's a yellow Antron yarn. It's, uh, again, a little more rugged than your, than your floss. Uh, it might not be as smooth, which the majority of this pattern is, is covered up, so I'm not too terribly concerned about how smooth it is. And this will, this will again, still be relatively smooth when it's done. So I'll tie it in at the front 
and wrap it back and then come back up so I've got the right width or dimension to the body. And tie it off, a couple on top and underneath. So again, it won't be quite as smooth as uh, you can get with gloss, but I don't think it's going to uh, going to matter, and you're going to get more durability out of it. So now what I'll do is I'll take that um, thread tag that I left on there, along with the peacock curl, and I'll wrap these, twist these all together, and that'll give it. Just a little more, a little more strength. It's probably the most fragile piece of the pattern. So anything you can do to help reinforce that. And then when I get to the top, I'll tie it off. And then remove. So now probably most commonly uh, used is like a wet fly uh, hackle and tie it in a traditional kind of wet fly style. I'm going to use these same fibers that I use for the tail for my legs. So it'll be a little more rigid, uh, but I, I like, really like the color of it and I don't know that it, it matters too much. I'm going to tie it in a little bit differently too. Instead of tying it in like a, a soft tackle, I'm going to pull uh, the fibers back and cut the tip and I'll tie it in like I would if I was tying in a, a Prince Nymph or something like that. So I'll hold it on either side, take some wraps. One thing that I'm trying to be careful of and you'll notice there that it'll slide towards the towards the eye. I don't want to have a too terribly large head on this so I'll take some wraps. The reason I like to tie it in this way it's a, a little bit easier. You can adjust it more. Uh, you can get the right length to these fibers. And so I'll hold it up, take a couple of wraps underneath and then I'll trim that tag close as I can. I'll stroke those fibers down to make room for the back. And then I can pull this turkey straight up and over. Take a couple of good wraps to tighten it down. And in front, and then I can remove that. finish building out the head and whip finish and I'll trim that tag I'll situate these fibers before applying some head cement so they stay in the in the right position. Put a drop on the on the head and then also if you wanted to put a coating on the back as well. And so I'll do a Sally Hansen's to
coat the back, real thin, real thin layer. Again, I also like using the the thin skin because it makes it uh, makes it a little tougher. So that is my take on Teleco Nymph.